I hope you guys are doing really well. Today I'm going to be doing a deep clean video because it has been a long time since I've done one of these and you guys have been requesting it. Plus, I have good reason to because my room is absolutely disgusting right now. I just moved this massive cabinet into my room and I was moving all my stuff around and there's trinkets everywhere and I was just like, hold up. Now that everything is in its place, and all the little knickknacks are out of place and I have to change my sheets, today would be a great day to do a cleaning video, right? <laughs> this is my bed situation, which I am probably most ashamed of right now. I've got a ton of clothes that are just piled up on top of the bed and kind of rumpled up. I was filming some intros to videos and I was just like taking out clothes and throwing them on the bed, which I wouldn't normally do if my room was tidy. So here is a valuable, you know, piece of maybe wisdom. When your room is tidy, you're more likely to keep it tidy. At least I am. And when it's a mess, I kind of end up just letting it get worse because I know I'm going to clean it at some point. And then I'm just in this kind of state of like a messiness limbo and I'm not happy about it. So. I'm going to start by just moving the clothes and I'll fold them at a later date so I can just get this bed made. Now I'm going to go ahead and take off all of my sheets and put the dirty sheets in the laundry and put the new ones on the bed. What is this doing inside my bed? Look at it. It's just one of those little plastic things that comes off socks. Now that the bed is done, I'm gonna start putting stuff on my designated space. But anything I find that I think can go back really quickly and has a place is gonna go back while I'm doing it because that's just gonna save me a lot of time. So let's get into that. <laughs> If you guys are familiar with any of my cleaning videos, you know that I like to allocate like one piece of desk space or the top of a drawer and anything that doesn't have a home goes on there to just sit for a minute while I get the rest of the room clean. Also, if you're following along at home and you're tidying up too, don't forget to use like a small bowl or little box to put any small items in like earrings, rings, memory cards, things like that so that you don't lose them while you're going through the tidying process. Whilst I'm doing this, I'm going to make a small pile of things in a separate area that are going to go downstairs such as bowls and mugs and any rubbish and stuff that should go in the kitchen. Remember when I said I had that clothes pile? Well, that's here right now. So what I'm going to do while I'm moving everything around is I'm just going to fold and put away all of these clothes so they're not in the way as they're taking up a lot of space. So I'm just going to start by separating all the different items of clothing into different piles, whether it's for the wardrobe, the chest of drawers or a basket, and then taking those and putting them in the correct place. Anything that's going in the wardrobe gets put on a hanger and put back in the wardrobe, of course. And as always, I love using my clothes folding device. I got this for about four pounds on Amazon. It's a lifesaver and I fold anything that goes in drawers with this thing. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean all of the surfaces using some antibacterial wipes. You can use whatever kind of cleaner that you prefer for this. And then once that's all done, I can start putting things back in their places. I had a little cactus related emergency here, so I'm just going to wipe this up. And I'm going to do my best to clean the windows and mirrors, but with the windows, we're having some work done outside, so they're really dirty on the outside, so they're still not going to look clean, but I'm going to do it anyway. And as always, once you finish cleaning windows and mirrors, you can get rid of any smudges with a crumpled up piece of newspaper or a microfiber cloth. And now for the absolute best part, which is putting everything back in its place. This is just, oh, it's such a relief because you see it all come together at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and take everything out of my pile and put it in its place if it has a home. And if it doesn't have a home, I'm going to make one for it. 
And now that I think everything's in its place, I'm just going to go ahead and vacuum the floors. So I'm starting by shaking out the rugs onto the floor and then vacuuming that whole mess up, keeping the rugs off the floor while I pull the furniture out and get in all like, you know, the little crevices. And then once the whole floor has been vacuumed, I'm going to lay down the rugs again and a vacuum on top of them as well, just to make sure that there are no little specks of dust and dirt and it's all nice and clean. And now that that's done, I'm just going to go ahead and take out my bag of rubbish, throw it away, and I have a completely clean and tidy bedroom. So I think I'm finished. I mean, it's not perfect. There are things I'd like to organise, but this was more of a clean than an organise and to make sure everything found its place that it currently lives in. I'm pleased with how it turned out. It took me, I want to say about an hour and a half, but like I had lunch in between, so it wasn't even that long. I just quickly want to reflect on a few things that I've been thinking about while tidying. The first thing I mentioned was that if you do have a clean space, it kind of encourages you to put things back when you're finished using them straight away. Like I said this morning when my bed was a mess, I ended up throwing my clothes on it instead of folding them or like lying them neatly somewhere, which is something I would normally do. The second thing I noticed was that because I did have quite a good organization system in place already for stationary items, hair tools, all of those kind of things, they all have a home. So most of the things I was able to just pick up and put back straight away. Honestly, it didn't take me that long to get that stuff done. It was only the stuff that I had on top of my dresser drawer that really didn't have a home. And I've now found a home for them, so I feel pretty good about that. <laughs> I hope this inspired you to get organizing and do a deep clean of your room, and not just to watch the video and then say that you're watching it and avoiding doing your cleaning, because I see you. I see all of you guys in the comments who say that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. It was a little bit of a different take on a cleaning video and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day and goodbye.